what is up guys my name is robert donaldson and today we are back with episode number 71 of rob's best bets for the date of february 14th 2023 man as always you can find me on twitter at rob dfb and if you want more content like this in the future please hit the like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton and before we get into today's video let's go over monday's betting performance and what a fantastic day it was for us over here yet again as we went up 7.54 units on a 6-2 day overall. And North Carolina really fell apart in that second half there, but overall, you can't really complain when you have a day like that. That said, we have an even better slate of games here on Tuesday, so let's jump right into this video. Alright, for our first pick of the day, we are heading over to the Big East, where we have DePaul taking on St. John's. And this DePaul team has been really good in certain spots this year. And with them at home getting a short line against a team that you would think would be laying a lot more points, I think this is a good spot once again. So let's take DePaul here on the money line for two units for our first play of the day. For our second bet of the day, we are heading over to the Big 12 where we have Kansas State taking on Oklahoma. And Oklahoma has been skidding as of late, but Kansas State hasn't really looked themselves as of late. And I think they're catching the Sooners at a bad time, given how desperate they are at this point and given that they just dropped their last home game. So give me the Sooners here on the money line for two units for our second play of the day. For pick number three, we are heading over to the MVC where we have Valparaiso taking on Southern Illinois. Man, this is the most suspect line of the night. And we do know that Valpo has had a respectable home court advantage over the years. And for that reason, I say we take a healthy stab at Valpo getting the three and a half points for two units. And for an extra unit, let's sprinkle the money line here as well. For pick number four, we are heading out to the Big East where we have Providence taking on Creighton. And we really love this Creighton team, but this is a very good Providence team. And at the dunk, I think the Friars make this a ball game. So let's take the two and a half points for three units. And for an extra unit, let's sprinkle the money line here as well. For pick number five, we are heading down to the SEC where we have South Carolina taking on Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt is coming off of two major wins on the road back to back over Florida and Tennessee respectively. And listen, we know how good this Vanderbilt team actually is. And they are certainly due for some regression, especially on the road for three straight games. Meanwhile, South Carolina is coming off of three straight games of impressive performances. And in my opinion, I think they might be able to hit their stride down the stretch here under first year head coach Lamont Paris. So let's take the five and a half points with South Carolina for three units. And for an extra unit, let's sprinkle the money line here as well. For pick number six, we are staying in the SEC where we have Auburn taking on Mizzou. And last time out, Auburn made life hell for Alabama on offense for 36 minutes. And now they are back in a must win game at home against a team who plays very similar to Alabama, just with inferior players. I think we see a major Auburn bounce back win in this game and probably see a Missouri letdown game as well after their big road win over Tennessee. So let's lay the six points for four units for our fifth pick of the day. All right, for our final pick of the day, we are headed over to the ACC where we have Syracuse taking on NC State. Man, NC State has been a wild card at times this season with a lot of inconsistent performances and Syracuse has performed well in spots this season, especially at home. So I think we take another look here at Syracuse on the money line for four units for our final play of the day. All that being said, I want to thank all of you for checking out today's video. And if you want to show some love, head on over to Twitter and drop a follow at RobDFB. And you can also drop a like in this video. You can subscribe to the channel. You can comment down below. And as always, y'all, let's keep making that bread. And I will see you in a future video. Take it easy.